me greetings, Becky's Gay Rampious Delicious Pisces. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, my baby, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, blah, 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 marriage. Let's take a look at Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels what's going on for Pisces. Oh, my babies. All right. Mm hmm. Wow. Okay. So I'll tell, let me tell. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, you're kind of, look, uh, the readings today are just like insane. Okay, you are in your person's energy. So your person's entire energy is you. You've got the moon here. This is what they're thinking about. This is what they're talking about. This is what they're doing. They're thinking about you. With these you versus them reading, let me just, sorry, baby, let me just adjust you there a little bit. I know something's off. Always, always. All right, babe. There's something here about this person thinking about you, obsessing about you. Um, you are their world right now. We are always assuming some kind of a rift or separation in these you versus them readings. These, these are for all intents and purposes, uh, love and separation readings, right? So you got the moon, you got the magician here. This is how they see you. They see you as the one who is the trickster here. They see you as the one who has too much power over them. You know, maybe this is somebody who left a connection thinking that, that they could get over this. They wanted to play you. They wanted to have things their own way and they can't because the Pisces charm, the Pisces love, the Pisces genesis, is like too much for them. You infiltrated their entire soul, my baby. Oh, babe. Mm, they're like, what did you do to me, Pisces? They're under your spell. They think you put a spell on them, baby. That's how it feels. They're like, what kind of spell did you put on me, baby? What kind of what what, what kind of sorcery is this? Oh my gosh. Also, Pisces, uh, before we get into your person's sad little situation, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you're new. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I'm going to try and do more readings for you because I love my Pisces energy. I am Scorpio. Sun and rising, I got all that water going on, you know, water gets water, you know what I mean? We're not like other good we're not like, we're not like the other witches. We're like very, very, you know, we just need so much, we need so much to care and we need so much love and we have so much love to give and you had so much love to give to this person. This per Look, out of the gate, this person walks away from this love. They walked away from you. They walked away from this connection. They thought that they would be okay. Maybe this is a, you know, somebody who is usually the player, somebody who does the walking away. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, this is somebody who was in it. A lot of lovely words, okay, Knight of Cups. They were like, oh, love bombing you. They wanted to get what they wanted. They wanted to conquer. They wanted to be the Casanova. Casanova, as anyone in between. They were like, Bibi, I love you. I want you. You gave them your all. You fulfilled them because that's what Pisces does. You filled their cup of love. The uh, Nine of Cups here. But there was a rat. This person was the rat, okay? They were the rat. They walked away from this beautiful connection. They didn't appreciate it. And the moment for them, it was a conquest. And they just like conquered in their own mind, yeah? They conquered you. They got the beautiful scrumptious love. They got your beautiful soulful love and they took it away with them. Didn't appreciate it. You know, it's like they got the holy water and drank it or something. You know, they didn't get it. And now in the separation, now that things are over, now they're understanding that you're haunting them. This moon card is like, wow, they are in the darkness and all they see is, is you everywhere. All they see is you. If it was a more established connection, my darling, if it was a marriage of 20 years, you know, we were dating for some months, this is somebody who walked away from a good thing. Um, but, you know, the moon, also in this card, the moon is so pre uh, prevalent. And, you know, you got the moon here. It's almost like they were confused. Uh, somebody walked away from a, a long-term connection because they were confused about what they want. They wanted to move on from an old life that they had with you, even though it was so fulfilling. They felt like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, babe. I do see somebody who wanted to see what's out there. You know, is the grass greener? They wanted to see, you know, what other fishies were swimming out there in the sea of love, babe. I don't see that this person left you for another person, but they just wanted to be free. It could have been a midlife, quarter life crisis, something like that. They just were like, you know, I want other things. I, I want to go out there and see what's out there. They felt unfulfilled in their current life, babe, and they took it out on you. They blamed you for it, even though they were unfulfilled because of their own spiritual journey that was unfulfilling to them. They didn't follow their bliss. They didn't maybe achieve the things that they wanted to in life, and they were like, well, it must be Pisces' fault. <laughs> mm, naughty little bit, Bill. The higher font and their intention is somebody who wants to rebuild, reconnect a relationship. They want to renew the commitment. 
You could be dealing with an earth sign. Also, something could have happened here in uh, your own season or Gemini season last year. This could be a long time coming. Eight months ago, somebody could have walked away. This could be a long-term separation that's just like really weighing on this person's mind. And maybe you're watching this reading because you've been having dreams about them. You're wondering, why is this person still in my energy? You know, you're like, I mean, it's over. They made the decision. They definitely walked away here. It's somebody who walked away, babe didn't appreciate you, didn't appreciate the scrumptiousness, the scrumptiousness that you are. And always remember, Pisces, always remember, only accept the best because you deserve the best, all right? Somebody can't offer that, goodbye. Delete from database, you know what I'm saying? Five of Cups here, they are so, so, so sad without you. There's someone who's currently hasn't been trying Two fives, too. So there's a lot of destruction, you know. They're really going through this destruction, the, the guilt of the destruction they caused. So, you know, this is someone who hasn't been trying. They've been hiding. They've been, uh, they've been like, hiding their face almost in shame. So, you know, you, you're just thinking, well, that, that person hasn't reached out to me in so long. I haven't heard from them. Like, obviously, they got what they wanted, but all they want is you, babe. Um, and all they think about is you. And then you have the chariot. So somebody is coming in on this very forceful, strong energy. Once they're ready, once they get the courage up, they will be reaching out to you. And then it's going to be like really like boom. Uh, I think you're going to be really shocked and surprised to hear uh, what this person has to say. You've got the sun. Somebody's going to make themselves known to you again as much as the person is hiding their face. See in this card, this little boo boo here, you can't see them because they're hiding their face in the darkness. So that's what's happening right now. And then boom, on the sun energies, this person is going to reveal themselves to you. Something could be occurring in the next five to seven days, weeks, uh, or in the fifth or seventh month, babe. So, you know, this if it's a long moving, slow energy, it could be you will waiting, you will be waiting until about cancer season for this person to come in. Or it could be five days, five, five, five hours, or five weeks, you know, based on uh, you know, you know your story best, babe. Oh, always remember these are general readings, so take what resonates. I just stay random bimbo on the internet anyway, so take what I say with a grain of salt. But that person is going to be coming in and like it's forceful. It's like we got to make this work somehow because they they just feel like they can't live without you now. But I mean, is it too late? You got the sun and the moon here too. So, you know, it could be opposites and the chariot is a play of opposites. So it could be that you're alchemically in a love, opposite forces, you know, night and day, something like that. Cats and dogs maybe too. But this person is, it's almost like they're going to come in or not take no for an answer. But let's see here, Pisces, because I feel like if it's taken so long, it may be that you've moved on already and you gave your all because you always give your all. You give your entire self to love. So this person is just like, what a fool. You know, they let this uh, They let this go. They let this go. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. So this is something to consider as your advice. The Knight of Pentacles saying, you know, how long is this going to take? How long did it take for them to realize what they had? And, you know, what kind of maturity can you expect from somebody like this? So, you know, you know your story best. If you're crazy, love this person. And you do want to reunite with them. Someone will be reaching out to you in the long term here. But if you're like, you know, on the fence, if you're, you're just wondering, like, why is this douche food in my thoughts? Douche food toss anyone in between? This is why. Because you're thinking about you, all they do is think about you. Probably at night too, they probably dream about you. Very vivid dreams or nightmares. They have a lot of confusion in their mind about what's going on here. I'm telling you, they think you like literally you put a spell. If they know that you're a spiritual, little spiritual new agey boo boo, they're like, did Pisces put a spell on me? I can't get over the Pisces. Very, very strong. All major arcana, magician, harp on in the moon. This is incredibly strong energy and the sun and the ch babe. Like this is an epic reading. But it doesn't mean you need to take this person back. Never wait for some douche flute. All right, live your life. Live your best life. Vibe with yourself. Vibe with the world. Uh, do what is best for you, what serves you. So this is what I have for you today, my darling scrumptious Pisces. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me or are interested in any of my magical services, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Give me a more kiss. <laughs>